tan. Those who watch for me, but if you see anybody that loves you, set you down. Set you down. Give birth to your children. Yes, I know that you want to go to school. Calm down. Calm down. You still go to school. Eh? No, school doesn't have age. When you go to high institution, you see old mama there. You see old mama. You see young girls. You see 60 years old person going to school. You see 30 years old person going to school. You see 12, 12, 17 years old person going to school. It's meant to see a 12 years old child going to higher institution. So, don't say that I want to finish my school before going before marrying. No time. Time waits for nobody. Um, hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Timmy Francisca, only Robert, a mommy YouTuber based here in the local state of Nigeria. If you are watching me for the very first time, highly welcome. For my returning viewers, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate. It. I don't take it for granted. For my new subscribers, welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you very much. So, in today's video, I'm going to share with you things you need to do for you to get married. Our single lady is there. Things you will do to enable you to get married. You see, the year is coming to an end. Some of you have married, while some of you have not yet married, and those ones that have not yet married, these are the things that you will do to enable you to get married in this year that we're going to enter, in this few months that is remaining things that you will do that will enable you to marry faster that any delay so number one thing that will help you is for you to do what for you to do what to pray pray yes pray there's nothing prayer cannot do when you are here when, when you are up to the age of marriage and you are not yet married what are you doing you can go on your knees and pray thank god what you want thank god i want to marry thank god i want a man that is rich Tell God that I want a man that is out here. He will perfectly do it for you. There is nothing we will ask God that, that he will not do. You see, your, your own father, your own parents, when you ask them for something, they will just do it for you instantly. How much more that God that created you? So, pray. Okay? Yes. Number two. Number two thing that makes some of our ladies not to marry fast is waiting for a particular age don't wait for a particular age once you know that you are you are up to the age of getting married you marry don't wait for a particular age so go ahead of saying that i want to get to 25 years before i get married i want to reach 30 years to 60 years and so on and so forth before they marry no no age wait for no woman age wait for no woman it's even better you marry at your 27 even 20 years for the fact you have the wisdom you can manage your home marry marry use that your youthful age and give birth train them with your youth, youthful age too don't wait for when you are 30 years when you're 40 years when you're 25 years when you're just say no marry once you a man ask for your hand in marriage and you have really look at the man and know that they can take care of you and they have fear of god in him what are you waiting for? You go. The more one thing a mother is for you to have a man that have got fear and a man that love you. So don't wait for a particular age before you get married. Okay? So please, please, our ladies out there, please do this. Put this thing into practice. Thing that makes some of our ladies to still remain single is that they are looking for a rich man. I want my man to be rich. I want to have a man. I want to marry a man that have car. I want to marry a man that live in Dubai. I want to marry a man that do this. I want to marry a man. No. Don't depend on this. It will be better if you if you have your own money and get married. Then two of you will come together and fight to make that money. Hmm? Don't de don't rely on a man that is rich. If you get married to a man that is rich, he will use you. He will use you as a football. He will be commanding you anyhow, doing all sorts of things, embarrassing you, doing many things. He will even hinder you from doing things that you love. Why? Because he has the money. But as you you marry a man that is average, not that he's poor, he will not be poor, he will not be rich, but he's okay. He can feed you, do some things by himself. So there's nothing to wait for. Get married, marry that particular man. And you, you have to be hardworking. Don't be lazy. Because it's laziness that is looking you to wait for a man that is rich. So don't be wasting, be industrious, work hard, 
Jeffrey should be working hard, work hard with him so that he will value you, put on value on you. I don't say that it's not good to marry a man that is rich, but at least, at least it's good to marry a man that is rich, but make use of your body. Okay. So another thing that makes some ladies to be to be to still remain single is that they want to they are waiting for a person that that they love instead of them to go to a person that love them. Or more. They will use you to do your hair in their marriage. Eh? When they finish dealing with you, you will know that that is you will know that kake is not like that. Hmm? You're waiting for your man, you'll be the one that will do everything, take care of everything, you will feed him, do everything for him because of what you love him. But when you marry a man that loves you, not the one that you love, the one that loves you, or more, he will never joke with you. He will do everything, he will make sure that you're always happy. Whether there is food or there is no food, or whether there is money or there is no money, he will make sure that he do it everything that will make you to be happy so it's not better for you to marry a man that loves you instead of marrying the one you love more tick twice though these days you don't have to be having high potential in your marriage or facing more challenges or the other you need to marry a man that you love you so that he will not joke with you you will not even joke with your children when you marry a man that does not love you you you, you will take you eat many rubbish from his hand. You will even go extra mile of bringing another woman inside that particular house. Reason he does not love you. Your love is bigger than his own. So marry a man that loves you, a man that his love is bigger than your own. He will never take you for granted. Hmm? Never take you for granted, please. Okay? Try this. Another yeah. thing that makes our single ladies to remain single is that they are waiting for them to finish university so we said that they are, i want to finish my university before i get married i want to finish giving i, want, I don't want yes I'm, i want to finish my school before getting married time waits for nobody i've, I've already put this again time waits for no what nobody it's better you make use of your time no time time waits for no woman don't wait for any don't wait for anything there are so many people that is in university that have their kids there and they're going to school you carry your child and be going to school i know that it's not easy but at least it's more better than not what of when you finish going to that school when you finish your studies and not meet a man or you meet a man that is, that you know like the type of man that is coming to you you know like that and the one that was coming to you is that type that you want but you want to finish your school so it's not better for you to choose wisely first of all marry if that man when you see that man and you know that he loves you and he can take care of you he can do everything for you why can't you settle down you settle down he will he can still take care of you in that school like me when i get married i'm in year two yes i was in year two when i get married so i have to be going to school with my first son then before i finish my studies it wasn't easy at all for me. It wasn't easy. It's the stress of taking care of the child, the stress of reading, the stress of writing quiz, the stress of uh, the doing sorts of things in order to meet up. It wasn't easy, but by the grace of God, God will favor you. You do everything. You come out of it, come out with your first class upper. That's no blame. That's complaining or doing anything. So it's better for you to. My, when you see that man that loves you, marry, marry, no time, time waits for nobody, time waits for nobody, no woman, more especially, time waits for no woman, marry, when you see that man that loves you, marry, don't, don't keep on giving some excuses, I want to finish, I want to finish this, I want to finish that, I want to finish this, I want to finish that, you might finish all those things, you still, you will not see the man that you like, or you will see them go, you will not like them, so it's not better for you to make a hair wise and shine. Please, please, some reason be denied is saying that they don't want to marry that particular man or that particular, yes, because their mother in law is alive. Hmm. Why would we make such a comment? Why would we open this your mouth? This your mother God gave you and said that you don't marry until your, your mother in law dies. No, one day you become a mother in law, you will have sons and daughters. Yes, 
and you will not be alive to see them getting married. How will you feel? How will you? How will you feel? Like as I am now, I'm suffering for this, my children, like taking care of them, shouting up and down, okay. staying sleepless nights. Sometimes I will enter them to make sure that they are okay. Sometimes I will starve myself to make sure that they are okay. At the end of everything, my sons, my daughter-in-law, not be saying that I will not be alive. As in something, no. It will never happen. You, you would even say go. If you don't want your mother-in-law to be alive, as I intend that, you would even say go. Yes, or when you finally get married, you will never have a son. Yes, because that is what you are praying for. So is it not better for you to pray? Let me meet a good mother-in-law. Let my mother-in-law look me. Start, meet, start saying that prayer. Father, I want to marry a, I want to marry a good mother-in-law. Pray that prayer. Tell God what you want. That is why I first mention prayer. Whatever you want in that marriage, whether you want to marry or you want a good mother in law, or you want a good sister in law, pray. Say your prayers. Tell God what you want, and He will definitely do it for you. Definitely do it for 100%. So don't be saying that I don't want my sister's and I don't want my brother's and And you see it in your father's house. When those of your brothers marry, your wives will be telling you that you should go and face your own with family. You might be there shouting, ah, it's my father's house, it's my father's house, it's my mother's house, and this, and that, and this, and that. That place is your father's house. It's not your home. Go and build your home. So it's better when a man asks for your hand, watch very well. If the man is okay, he's, he's okay, he can take care of you. Look, go ahead and marry. Don't waste time. Stop wasting time. Time waits for nobody. Time waits for no woman. Go and settle down. Build your own family. Even if that man does not have money, but he loves you, there's nothing like a man loving a woman. There's nothing that he could never do for you. He will fight for you to the last. So it's better for you to calm down and get married. Please, our single ladies, I just, please put these few tips that I mentioned that makes you to, that will make you to marry into practice. And as I said, doing it, God will give you your own bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, and a man that will love you very well. So if you watch this video to this point, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. I love you all. Mm -hmm.